So this is it, the brand new S1000R, the next chapter in our Roadster legacy. I'm Max Renko, product manager of these beautiful S1000R bikes here. And on behalf of the whole project team, I would like to invite you to a deep dive into these beautiful products. I will unveil all the secrets, all the hidden quirks and features, and something you might not even have known from other journalists before. To me, personally, this bike reminds me kind of a Terminator. It's like an ultra-precise, purpose-built engineering marvel, built with only one goal in mind, to seek and destroy and to put you on top of the game. It's really the precision and engineering behind it. It's incredible. It's really impressive. At the beginning, we talked with racers and stunt riders alike what they were seeking in their bikes. And the funny thing is, they were pursuing different goals, but what they demanded from the machine was pretty much the same. It was feedback, transparent handling, and all of them wanted to have one thing, a tool, a perfect tool with ultimate precision and control that allows you to do exactly what you want to do. The S1000R will give you exactly that. See, not only if you add in the M package or our options such as the DDC suspension, you will get a bike that will do anything the most premium superbikes the world will offer you, and some of that will not even be available for superbikes. No, the truth is, even for a standard bike in this base model configuration, you'll get a lot of stuff that you will want to have on the twisties. You'll get 165 horsepowers with a mid-ranged optimized torque curve. You'll get a class-leading 6.5-inch TFT display. And you'll also get what I think what really sets us apart, our cornering ABS and our TTC traction control as standard configuration. As a product manager, I must say I'm really proud that we have this function here as a standard configuration in this third generation. We have been perfecting this technology for years. But before I tell you more about the technical side of the bike, let's take a look at the design. Dynamic Roadsters, they're all about front wheel orientation. And all lines in the design also point to the front axle. Everything gravitates around the front wheel. We tried for the new generation to make the whole bike as compact as possible. So if you look at it from the front, you will see very narrow stands and very narrow shoulders to transport the lightness and the agility of the bike also in its visual appearance. In the front, we have a new headlight. It's full LED as standard. And it's very narrow and very short in comparison to the old one. And if you go for the optional Headlight Pro, you'll get the daylight riding strip, including our Batlit R logo and adaptive cornering lights. Also what's standard on a new bike is a full TFT display, which is nicely integrated into the front and it's very compact and very tight in its appearance. So the head is a lot slimmer than before. Moving over to the cockpit, there's so much going on that I will show you now in full detail. We have a completely new handbrake pump with a new brake reservoir, which is a lot more integrated than the old one used to be. We also have a completely new triple tree with integrated decoupling elements and a very nicely designed upper fork bridge, including handlebar clamp. Right next to it, you see the complete S1000R logo lasered into the handlebar. You may have already discovered our R-shape integrated into the side panel of the fairing, but something I'm mostly proud of is our new tail section. The old generation had to share its tail section with the double R. The new bike has a completely unique design to it. It's very slim, so it exposes more of our lovely rear frame. You can detach the license plate carrier, and then you get a complete conversion to a race bike. Also, the whole shape is completely different from the normal double R. The single R tail section features unique air ducts with integrated handles. Unless you go for the pillion kit, every single bike will be delivered in monoposter configuration, including this very nicely designed cover. This feature here is a section where you can mount a GoPro pad on it. For example, if you use the bike on the racetrack, you can film yourself while riding. Also, what I love about that new tail section is that incredible love to detail. For example, this alloy cover here for the rear lock mechanism. It's anodized with laser etching on top, and it's just, it has this very nice touch to it, that cool metal feeling you get only with proper metal, not just chrome plastic. Coming back to the rear frame, the base model will always have a black rear frame. Style Sport and Yam package have color matched copper rear frames. The tail section is on the top, always painted in body color. The lower section is in black to even lift the distance between the rear wheel and the frame 
and create some more lightness that is also the whole philosophy of the bike in general. Ever since the start of the project, we've put a lot of emphasis on weight reduction because this is the key to sporty performance. The homologated base weight is 199 kilograms. That means with 90% full tank of gas, even if you add in all the packages, you will end up with maximum 203.5 kilograms. From there on, you can add in, for example, the M package, which saves up to five kilograms on top of it. And of course, all the stuff that is included in the package is also sold individually. For example, our M lightweight battery, our M forged wheels, our M carbon fiber wheels, or for example, our titanium rear silencer. Okay, so how did we save so much weight? It's pretty easy. We looked at every single part and tried to save 7,000 times one gram. The wheels, 1.8 kilograms lighter per set, even for the standard cast wheels. That's 17% less rotational mass. We have the whole frame chassis layout. It's a lot lighter. Unsprung mass reduced for the rear swing arm. The new frame is 9% lighter and integrates the engine as a stressed member. The engine itself, for example, is 5 kilograms lighter. So with 58 kilograms, it's by far the lightest engine in its class. But we didn't stop there. For example, the whole exhaust system is now 10% lighter. Really, we try to save weight everywhere. So let's talk about the engine and the power, because this is what you want in a dynamic roadster. We have 165 horsepowers and 140 newton meters, and that comes at a very wide power band. So really, this engine is optimized for where you actually use it on the street. You have a lot of torque available. Matter of fact, between 4 and 9,000 RPM, you have more average torque than the double R has. At the same time, we don't use the shift cam system, which also allows us to offer the bike at a much more reasonable price for you guys who are very price conscious, if you like. The focus was also laid on having a very linear torque curve, so we have perfect throttle control and perfect modulation. The gearbox. Just like the engine, which is based on the double R engine, but optimized for street use, the gearbox was also modified. So the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth gear are now two, four, and eight percent longer. The benefit is, on steady cruising, you have lower revs now. As for the steering, since this bike is a bike that gets used a lot in urban environment, we made sure that the handlebar range of motion is increased. The old one had 27 degrees of range, now we have 33 degrees. So this allows a lot more freedom when filtering through traffic or doing lane splitting. The handlebar is probably the single most influential part for the proper roadster experience. Just look at that wide, massive stance. This is what it's all about on a roadster. Thanks to a new self-reinforcing clutch, we now are able to reduce the operating force of the clutch and for the first time both brake and clutch lever are fully adjustable. This is both true for the stand levers and the M levers. As for the seats, standard seat height is now 830 millimeters, so it's 60 millimeters more, which mostly affects more foam for more comfort. If you're a very short person or a very tall person, you also get the option to get a lower seat, minus two centimeters, or a high seat X factory, plus two centimeters, which also allows you to have a very relaxed knee angle if you're a normal sized person. Of course, because our frame is narrower and lower, you now get a better standard stand over height, even though you have a nominally higher seat. Now, for the pillion. As mentioned before, the standard configuration is in monoposter form. But you can also, of course, get a pillion kit at free of charge. And as in addition, you can get the M passenger seat. This is a little surcharge, but it has a lot of value in there. You have a little ramp, so this hinders the pillion from sliding forward when doing some urban or, let's say, spirited mountain road riding. But also, the material is different. It has more grip, just like the M rider seat. Now, onto the wheels. As mentioned before, we got M forged wheels, one kilogram lighter per set, and we got the M carbon fiber wheels, 2.8 kilograms lighter per set. We're the only OEM in the world to offer carbon fiber wheels X factory. Both wheels come with thicker brake discs for even higher heat capacity on the racetrack. And just like a standard wheel, all of them can be equipped with our RDC tire pressure monitoring system. This little gem here warns you in case of a sudden or 
slow tire pressure loss in the display. One of the absolute highlights of our option range is of course the M package. It just looks incredible. But it's much more than just the looks. You get to choose either from M forged wheels or M carbon fiber wheels. You also get the M fuel lid, the M seat, the M endurance chain with higher efficiency, the M battery, the titanium sport silencer, a third core screen with a track focused layout and also preparation for our GPS lap trigger. To further enhance that M flare, you can also get our billet package, which contains a lot of milled M parts, as well as our carbon fiber package that is shown here. Some other highlights of our option lineup, for example, is the keyless ride option, first time on the S1000R, as well as our state-of-the-art Shift Assist Pro, which allow seamless up and down shifting in almost any situation, and our e-call system. Beside the carbon fiber and milk parts you can get X-Factory, there's also a vast array of very nice and lovely M accessories you can get at the dealer. For example, our M chain tensioner with integrated paddock stand mounts. This is a true race bread part for you guys. And you cannot be a true S1000R fan unless you can pronounce Verstellbare Hochpräzisionskettenspanner mit integrierter Montageständer Aufnahme. And because the Germans have the humor too, we do have a bottle opener, the chain tensioner. That will also make a great Christmas present on itself. Another highlight of our accessory lineup is our brand new bar and mirror. It offers a huge range of adjustability and will not block your vision. For those of you who can't get enough of their S1000R, we offer a lot of touring accessories for extended pleasure. For example, our windshield sport and our side bags, our tank bags and our rear bags. As the only bike of its class, the new Single R features a 6.5 inch TFT display with a perfect graphic user interface that will display only the information you need in that very moment. You have a dynamic red line that progresses as the engine warms up. And if you like, you can have two different sports screen layouts that will display either your maximum and actual lean angles along DTC intervention and brake force or a lap timer. Or if you choose the M package, you can even have a third core screen that will have a very track-focused layout that will feature both lean angles and lap times. Every single R will come with three riding modes of standard, including ABS Pro and DTC traction control, which are both lean angle sensitive thanks to our six-axis IMU. If you go for riding modes Pro, you can have a fourth riding mode called Dynamic Pro. That can be configured by you any way you like, ranging from engine braking to wheelie control to ABS intervention, for example. And the traction control is the same one that Tom Sykes has on his superbike. Other benefits of having the Riding Modes Pro option is the addition of Dynamic Brake Control, Hill Start Control Pro, Pitlane Limiter and a Launch Control. Compared to other competitors, our Riding Modes have the benefit that they actually change the whole way the bike behaves. It's not just throttle response, it's also traction control, it's the way the ABS works. And if you go for the DDC suspension, it even changes the suspension settings. And for your daredevils out there, we got you. The traction control can be deactivated at the push of one button. Every single R will come with free Bluetooth connectivity for telephone functions, music streaming, navigation, and it will also connect your bike to our BMW Motorrad Connected app. So all the data recorded in the app is the very same data as seen by the traction control unit. You can see your maximum and actual lean angles, and what I really love about the app is you can share pictures taken during your tour, overlay them with your preferred data and share them to your friends. So there you have it. The new S1000R is the bike that will do it all. From conquering the mountains to putting the fun in your commute to chasing superbikes on the racetrack. You can customize it any way you like and it's truly one of the best bang for the buck bikes in the market. So get ready to awaken your inner daredevil, become part of the Never Stop Challenge community, Post below, follow us on social media, and I'll see you on the twisties.